Hello, my name is Gantare and today I'm going to teach you all the basics about FTP and how to use this protocol. File Transfer Protocol or FTP is used to communicate and transfer files between computers on a TCP IP network, aka the internet. FTP also allows you to upload files from your computer to your WordPress site. It provides an easy to use interface so that you can perform all FTP functions such as copy, upload, delete, rename and edit files folders. How does FTP work? FTP connection needs two parties to establish and communicate on the network. To do that, users need to have permission by providing credentials to the FTP server. To get or transfer a file, an authorized user will use the protocol to request on creating changes in the server. In return, the server will grant that access. The session is known as the active connection mode. The distribution in active mode might face a problem if a firewall is protecting the user's machine. The passive mode is used if that issue occurs. In this mode, the user establishes both command and the data channel. This mode then asks the server to listen rather than to attempt to create a connection back to the user. There are three approaches on how to establish an FTP connection. A very simple method is using a command line FTP such as using command prompt for Windows or terminal in Mac Linux. A user also can use a web browser to communicate with the FTP server. A web browser is more convenient when users want to access large directories in the server. Though today the most common practice to use FTP, especially for a web developer, is by using an FTP client. An FTP client provides more freedom compared to the command line and web browser. It is also easier to manage and more powerful compared to the other methods. For example, it allows users to transfer a large file and use the synchronizing utility. There are many FTP clients to choose from, from free open source applications to premium options. In this video, we will use FileZilla, an open source and popular FTP client, but you can also choose different options like WinSCP, CyberDuck, etc. Let's set up an FTP server using your Hostinger account. Firstly, log into your Hostinger account and navigate to the FTP account section. Create a new FTP account by filling out a new username and password. You will see new FTP servers under the list of active FTP accounts. Then in FileZilla, insert the hostname, username and password and hit the quick connect button. You can also fill in the port number, but port 21 is used by default. The status window will tell you if you are logged into the FTP server. So as a web developer, you will need to use FTP with an FTP client to access the website that you are managing. Furthermore, it is easier to create and remove directories and read a large number of files on the server. FTP is also commonly used by non-developers who just own a WordPress site. There are many reasons you may need to access the site this way. For example, you can use FTP to install plugins and themes directly should you need it, manually deactivate plugins and themes if you ever get locked out of your WordPress dashboard, upload media files in bulk rather than one at a time, make changes to core WordPress files such as HT access to implement customizations and extra security measures, diagnose and fix common errors on your site such as compatibility issues, internal server errors, and so on. I hope now you have a better understanding of FTP and what it's used for. If you like this video, don't hesitate to press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.